Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the complex analysis. Today, I will explain you how you can solve the problems related to the Cauchy integral formula. I will explain you with the help of the several examples. Myself, Dr. Harishkar, you can subscribe and follow my YouTube channel with the bell notification. Now, what we have discussed so far in our last lecture, we have defined and explained the meaning of the Cauchy integral formula. For more detail, you must watch about these lectures because in the today's lecture, I will explain you the various examples related to the Cauchy integral theorem. Now, let me recall the concept of the Cauchy integral theorem. If you have the function fz, which is analytic inside and on the curve, remember the word is inside and on the closed curve, then the integration of the fz of the curve on the curve C is always zero. But make sure it must be on the curve and it is on the closed curve. Fine. For example, can you find the integration of this? So whenever you will see the curve integration, your first target is always to draw the curve of this reason. If you remember Z minus A is equal to R, then this A is my center and this r is always my radius if you compare and it is this is the equation of the circle so what is the equation center is my zero because you can see a is my zero r is my half so if you draw the circle this is the equation of the circle with center zero radius half fine and is equality the meaning of the equality is curve is inside and on the boundary fine so that is my now once you can draw the curve look at always the pole of this function how you can find the pole of the functions if whenever you have the numerator divided by denominator form then you can choose the value of the z at which the function fz will goes to the infinity or you can always take the denominator of the function as a zero. Fine. So if you take the denominator of this function as a zero, the value of the z will be minus one. And I call as the pole of the integrals. Now you can check where it lies. z is equal to minus one. It's a complex number. X plus iota y. So what is the value of the axis? Minus one. Y is equal to zero. Can you find the point where it lies? X is equal to minus one. What is, the, what is the value of this? It is my minus half. So where is the x minus 1 lies? Minus 1 comma 0 lies at this point. And clearly say this point lies outside the curve. Fine, it's a closed curve. It lies outside the curve. And once it lies outside the circle or the curve, the function is my analytic. And once this function is analytic, by using the Cauchy integral theorem, this integration is my zero. And that's the answer of this problem. Now I will explain you the several examples based on this concept. So your first target is to draw the circle. Fine. If you compare them, what is the center? Center is minus one. Z minus A is equal to R. Radius is radius is 1. So you can see this is my minus 1 because center is minus 1, real component is 1, imaginary is 0 and the radius is 1. So that means this is the equation of the circle. Fine. And your curve is lies this point. Fine. Now, if this is my minus 1, this is 1, this point is my minus of 2. Can you find the pole of this reason? How you can find the pole of this reason? I can substitute the denominator component is my zero. Fine. How you can solve this number? So it will be minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Minus of 2, 16. 16 means that is a 4 iota divided by 2. That is minus 1 plus 2 iota and minus 1 minus of 2 iota. So these are the pole of this integrands minus 1 plus 2 iota minus 1 minus 2 iota. Now check 
whether minus one where it lies corresponding to this what is the real component minus one imaginary component two where it lies minus one what is this number is radius is my one so this number is one so one comma this is the point of minus one comma two similarly corresponding to this case x is my minus one y is equal to minus two this number is my minus of one x is minus one y is equal to minus two this point lies here now clearly say both the points both these points lies outside the circle once it lies outside the circle what does it means that means this function is my everywhere analytic once this is analytic then the integration is my zero by using the cauchy integral formula so the right answer of this problem is zero look at the third example again your function is this so i can write is a circle radius is my zero uh, sorry radius is my half center is my zero fine now this number is half this number is my minus half can you find this function i can write this part is e raised to power z fine can you find the pole of this function the pole is i can substitute the denominator is zero so this will be zero either e raised to power z zero or z plus one zero but e raised to power z can never be zero so therefore the pole is my minus one if you write the pole is minus one where it lies that means z is equal to minus one that means x is minus one you can compare them with x plus iota y and imaginary part is zero where it lies minus one zero here and you can see this point lies outside the circle and once it lies outside the circle that means the function is analytic everywhere once the analytic everywhere so the integration over this closed curve closed curve is that is a circle radius half center zero is my g i hope you can like and comment on this video as well look at this another one so firstly your target is to draw this region fine this is my x this is my y 1 plus iota the point corresponding to is x is 1 y is 1 so this is my 1 this is my 1 this is 1 comma 1 2 plus iota x is my 2 y is equal to 1 x is 2 y is equal to 1 2 plus 2 iota 2 comma 2 so x is 2 y is equal to 2 and 1 plus 2 iota defines 1 comma 2 so that means your reason is this is my closed curve c clearly say it is my closed fine so your reason is my this one now you can find the pole what is the pole is z plus 2 either this will be zero or z square plus 4 will be zero if z plus 2 whole cube is zero that means the roots are minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 or you can also say z is minus of 2 with multiplicity with multiplicity how many times repeat three times and from this case can you find the roots of this it will be plus minus 2 iota and it's a simple pole simple pole means there is a single occurring now you can check where it lies z is equal to minus 2 so i can compare them with the x plus iota y माइनस ऑफ टू एक्स वाई जीरो हर क्वेश्चन को सेम मेथड से सोल्व कर रहा हूं बच्चे पहले पोल निकालिए उसके बाद चेक करिए वेदर इट लाइज इन साइड और नॉट एक्स इज माइनस टू सो दिस द पॉइंट ऑफ माइनस टू कॉमा जीरो एंड क्लियरली से दिस पॉइंट इज लाइज आउटसाइड द रीजन फाइन नाउ यू कैन सी द प्लस माइनस ऑफ टू आयोटा एक्स इज जीरो वाई इज माई प्लस माइनस टू सो वेर इट प्लस माइनस टू लाइज this is my 2 and this is my minus 2 and both the point lies outside this region so therefore the give both all these poles are lies outside the circle outside it's not a circle it's a square c is my curve 
which is my skill. So therefore, the function is analytic by using the Cauchy integral theorem. Answer is my G. Look at this another one. This is the equation of the ellipse. So if this is the ellipse, that means it could be like of this form, either this form or it is of this, depending upon that whether the major axis is more or minor axis is more. Fine. So can you find the pole of this reason? What is the pole? Pole is Z is equal to pi iota. Fine. Now our target is to check whether the pole lies inside or not. How you can see? I can substitute this value in the given equation pi minus 2 plus pi iota plus 2. If this is greater than 6, then it lies outside the ellipse. If it is less than 6, then it lies inside the ellipse. If it is equal to 6, then it lies on the circle. So now let's start with this term. What is the formula for the x plus iota y? It is under root of x square plus y square. So this number will be 4 plus pi square plus 4 plus pi square. So that will be twice 4 plus is a pi square. Pi means 3.14. So definitely it will be 9 point something. So that will be 13 point something. If you take the under root of 13 point something, that will give you 3 point something. And if you multiply by 2, that will be 6 point something. That means it must be greater than of 6. And once it will be greater than of the 6, that means this point pi comma pi iota x will be the 0, pi iota lies outside the ellipse and once it lies outside the ellipse therefore the given curve is my analytic and the given function integration of the given function is my zero by using Cauchy integral theorem. Don't forget to like and comment on the video. Okay look at this another one again this is a circle center zero radius two it's a minus of 2. Center is 0. Can you find the pole? So the pole is my z is 1. Fine. Now check whether where it lies. z is equal to 1. If you compare them x plus iota y, x will be 1, y is equal to 0. Where it lies? Here. And you can see this point lies inside the reason Fine. If it lies inside the reason, that means the function is not analytic. The function is not analytic. And if it is not analytic, that means the integration is my not zero. If the integration is not zero, then the question arises is how we can calculate its exact value. If it is not zero, will it be 1 by 2? Will it be 2 pi? Fine. Will it be 2 pi iota or will it be minus 3 iota and so on? Which one, which one is the exact answer? So how you can solve this value for that whenever, whenever the point or the pole lies inside the circle, then the Cauchy integral theorem is not applicable. In that case, we will study the for, called as the Cauchy integral formula and that we will see in our next lecture. Till then, you can make more practice on the Cauchy integral formula and remember this concept. I hope you can learn this concept very well. We will see the next lecture on the Cauchy integral formula. Till then, you can share this video with your friends. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.